As we just heard, the Obama administration considers the dropout rate to be a continuing crisis. So what are the solutions? You'll find out on Saturday, September 28th, when we air American Graduate Day from here in the Tisch WNET studios. It's a live multi-platform event featuring national and local programming, with partners and celebrities all focusing on improving graduation rates. This is the second year for the live broadcast, and this year, throughout its seven hours, you'll meet educators and students, and perhaps most importantly, you'll find out how volunteers and organizations are making a huge difference in keeping kids in school. One of the stories you'll see is set right here in New York at the Queens Library Discovery Center. Take a look at how a library is inspiring students to learn and stay in school in this excerpt. Libraries are no longer the shushing places anymore. Uh, we want children to be as creative as they want to be when they come to the library, to use our resources, to be very interactive in the library space. So we are not the quiet libraries that you probably used to before. One of the things that's happening in libraries all over the country is a recognition of how important STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math literacy are. One of our goals here is to help people understand that they can do science at home, they can do science here in the library, they can be paying attention to what's going on around them all the time. Now most butterflies have four wings, right? Two four wings and two back wings. This one is missing one. Can you see that? There you go, one finger. Save this face. There you go. There we go. If you come to any of our libraries after school, it's just filled to capacity with children and teens. All of our libraries have some kind of partnership with the schools in the neighborhoods. Throughout the entire school year, we have our homework program, and on Saturdays, we have our Saturday Science Labs. So at every angle that the kids are coming in here, they're getting some kind of formal education, as well as some informal education as well. I have many times had parents come to me to tell me that they feel that their children gain so much from what the library does for them. The reward is to see all of those students along the way, you know, some kids come in, oh, here's my report card. Um, I got into this college, I got into this. Or, you know, always sharing something exciting that is going on with them. Libraries need the community to come into the, those libraries, see what we're doing, see where you can help. Maybe you specialize in something and maybe we may be thinking about a program that we want to implement and maybe you can help us implement that program. We are the heart of the community. There are so many community centers that have closed. The libraries are really the heart of most of the communities around the country. And we offer so many programs. For people who haven't been to the library in a while, I would advise them, take a second look. You might be very pleasantly surprised at what is going on in the libraries. Mm -hmm. 